I'm Josie Bess Taitano, uh, running candidate of, uh, for mayor of Jigo. If Taitano's name sounds familiar, it's because he is the same man who's being sued by the Guam Environmental Protection Agency for operating an illegal dump on his property in Jigo. It's the same dump that caught fire, burning for weeks and causing the evacuation of the entire area. He's been issued notices of violation and is now being sued by Guam EPA, but he believes it is all a form of malicious prosecution. All these directors are appointed by the governor. And uh, look at how many directors were here. Ivan Kidata, Cruz, uh, Lorraine Kidata, and then this one now. Because I think every time they have a director that doesn't prosecute me, they fire them, get another one, fire them, get another one, fire them, get another one. That's how the circle is. Why, uh, why are people doing this to you then? Uh, jealousy is one. Two, because I beat Kabul in the Supreme Court. And I be, I'm going to beat Israel. I want Israel out of my property. Titano says this all stems back to a dispute over the property at Gun Beach. He says his great-grandmother, Edaviz Espinosa Torres, and her brothers and sisters owned this entire area on both sides of Two Lovers Point. He alleges that back when Governor Eddie Calvo's father, Paul Calvo, was governor, the Calvo family had the property improperly recorded at land management under their names. The property has since been sold, and some now belongs to the Israel family. Titano points to a Supreme Court decision in 2008's Titano v. Calvo Finance Court. In it, the court essentially determined that the land registration decree is void and can be challenged at any time. Titano says this decision has placed a cloud on the land title, making it impossible for anyone to develop a hotel on the property, and this is why the Calvo administration is after him. The fact remains that EPA did fine you for having an illegal dump and did fine you for having a fire on the illegal dump. Yes, I cleaned that up already. I, I, I clean up every uh, piece of... Uh, uh, illegal dumping there. There's no more illegal dumping. It's clean. I clean it up. Why are they still coming after me? Guam EPA spokeswoman Tammy Anderson Taft says they're still going after him because there are still illegally dumped solid waste and hard fill material on the property and he still broke the law. This case is not closed and we do not consider it closed. We um, are just at the beginning of this court battle and from our perspective we've got a solid case and we hope to take it to a successful conclusion.